Hey, ladies and gentlemen, this is Carmine Sabia for Explain America, and a stunning bit of news about Kamala Harris has shaken the 2024 campaign. Before we get started, please make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe. Those little things really help us out, and they help our channel continue to grow. Now, I'm going to cut right to the chase so you guys understand what's going on. Kamala Harris, it, it says in this new report, is going to be leaving the White House more to do campaigning for Joe Biden. Now, I'm going to explain to you why this is a terrible idea. Before I do that, though, I'm also going to tell you that there was an opinion piece published by the Washington Post, one of the most liberal newspapers in the country, that says Kamala Harris doesn't need to leave the White House to go on the campaign trail. She needs to leave the White House. It says that they don't believe that Joe Biden can be reelected with this woman as his vice president. And the article goes on to say that identity politics has been great for the Democrat Party in diversifying its tent, making it a big tent party. But it's hurting them in this case because they can't get rid of Kamala Harris because she is a woman of color and they would get slaughtered by women and people of color if they did that. So what they're suggesting is that Kamala step aside so that Joe Biden could pick another vice president. I don't think that's going to happen. But what I do think is their point is well taken. I'm going to show you a series of videos taken in the last month of Kamala Harris on the campaign trail. It's a very quick montage, but I want you to watch the word jumbles that she gives in these interviews and realize this is why she's a detriment to Biden in 2024, a massive detriment. And again, I think putting her on the campaign trail is a mistake. I want to know what you guys think, so please let me know when you like, comment, share, and subscribe. I'm Carmine Sabia for Explain America. We love you guys. God bless you. Take care, everybody. The work of community work, and in particular violence intervention, is about investing in the community, understanding our capacity, understanding the greatness, and then being motivated with that knowledge to do what we can to reduce harm, but not for the sake only of reducing harm, but in investing in the potential and the greatness. That is the essence of this work. And on the issue of Gaza, I think that there is, there are steps that we need to take now and steps we need to be committed to taking in the future to ensure on the day after this conflict, which we all want to end as soon as possible, that we can work toward a two-state solution. <laughs> you know, I was recently with a bunch of um, faith leaders and I said, you know, <laughs> I'm good. I, I said to the, the preachers who were there, you know, during announcements on Sunday at church, could you could you perhaps ask people to stand up and say who got their student loan um, forgiven because so many have. I know that one of the best ways we're gonna keep our firefighters safe is to have more firefighters, to be able to work on the job with you, to be able to do the work that is about putting the resources into what the communities need. How do you spend your time? Yeah. What you do? In terms of the work, I'll tell you, I have, by now, we've counted, I've met over 150 world leaders. I have been a part of pushing forward an agenda that is about what we need to do around gun violence and safety. Mm -hmm. A lot of my work has been to get more money into community banks to extend access to capital for small businesses.